Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I'm here with Reptar. He's a Bosi Island Lichianus. Now, lychee geckos are typically known as one of the coolest geckos. Certainly, probably the coolest geckos that we can get here in America that are readily available at least. And the fact is, is that some of these guys can be pretty expensive. The localities like Bosi Islands and many, many other localities can really cost thousands and thousands of dollars a piece. And you know, the truth is, is that some of these insular islands stay a a little bit smaller than the actual main island of Gran Torino. And the truth is a lot of people think that because some of these can cost thousands of dollars, they're out of their reach when it comes to a pet. You know, oftentimes someone that has a crested gecko or a gargoyle gecko, which are both rachidactylus, just like this guy here, they'll think like, oh my gosh, I could never afford a lychee. But the truth is, is that the locality specific animals can get pretty pricey, but the ones that are generic are a little bit more affordable. And as you can see, Big Bertha here, which is a generic Generic GT or Gran Torino locality animal is quite a bit larger than Reptar and she can even get larger than this. I mean some of the localities like the Yetis can get giant and that's what it's all about. It's just the fact that what do you want to do? Do you want to pay three, four, five thousand dollars for a very cool specific locality that's going to maybe have a certain color phase or maybe a size or something like that? Or do you really want to just get a generically cool lychee gecko? Which is completely fine too. Again, we work with both. We work with some localities and then we work with some generic ones. The truth is the generics are, are kind of on the lines of, if you think about it, almost like a mutt dog or an integrate dog, right? If you want to get an AKC really rare dog, you're going to pay a lot of money for it. But if you want to get that dog that's maybe mixed with a chihuahua or whatever the case may be, the fact is, is it becomes much cheaper, but it's still just as cool of a dog in a lot of ways, right? So the truth is, is that these guys are relatively affordable when you get into the kind of generic animals, which are typically usually localities of Gran Torino or GT mix, to be honest with you and they can be really awesome again under a thousand dollars typically maybe six to eight hundred dollars whereas the other ones like I said could cost sometimes up to like ten grand you know which is a pretty big difference and don't get me wrong some of those localities are ridiculous and are well worth it if you're into that type of thing and some people are really really into it and I don't blame them because they're really amazing but I just want you guys to know that lychees aren't out of your price range if you want to just get one that's a generic here like my girl Big Bertha this is another great example of a Bosi Island right here. It's got that really kind of pastel look to it. You know, the greens, a little bit of pink coming through. Absolutely amazing. And you know, again, certain animals, whether it comes to like gray banded king snakes, green tree pythons, certainly lychee geckos, really localities mean everything. I mean, people are really into it. And to the untrained eye, someone might look at this and just say, oh, that's a really pretty lychee. Even I'm that way. I don't know how to discern the different localities of lychee on us, to be totally honest with you. But the fact is, is that it's pretty amazing important to some people and there's no doubt that I think it's a good idea too because you're able to keep bloodlines straight right that way if we ever do need to reintroduce things into the wild we just need to know where they come from and that they're not mutts for that reason so I think it's a really good thing and I think it's pretty awesome but certainly it makes a lot of these out of the price range of a lot of people that they can afford so again if you want a lychee gecko and that's one of your dreams you can go around and get it somehow and you don't have to pay the big bucks just by getting a generic one for example this is a little generic GT animal that's about six months old and look at that cute little face right there I mean this is amazing and again I think I paid about six hundred and fifty dollars for this one just to give you an idea still that's a lot of money I get it it's not fifty bucks you know but the fact is is that six hundred and fifty dollars it looks pretty close to a boshi to me and an untrained eye the fact is is that it can be a really amazing animals and these guys are gonna probably get pretty big because again they are a generic GT which is basically the main island of New Caledonia right and there's all kinds of localities on those and these animals do breed specifically to those localities but if you take one locality from GT and another one from GT and breed them together you can't sell them as a locality so they're called mutts basically and they're just called generic GTs at that point point. and to me I absolutely love them so we have a group of these and we have a group of some locality ones I'll probably add some to both to be totally honest with you I'll get some more GT stuff that's generic and then I'll certainly add some more stuff like I want to add yetis for sure because they're some of the biggest ones and there's some amazing looking animals there nevertheless I love leeches and they aren't that far out of your price range if you really want to get one. And just like the lychee geckos, like I mentioned, gray banded kings are the exact same way. This is just a generic Blair's phase gray banded king snakes. And these guys might be $100, $125, but they're specific localities that the people from West Texas are just really into. I mean, certain localities that are really rare that can go for thousands of dollars and certainly are in high, high demand for those people that are really into locality specific gray banded king snakes. Again, to people like me, 
me and you probably can't tell the difference between a Juno Road or a 277 or a Black Gap animal, something like that. But the fact is, is that I just like the generic, beautiful Blairs and Alterna phases. And again, they're relatively inexpensive. Same thing goes for green tree pythons. Again, when you get into some of these localities, I mean, you can get really, really expensive, thousands and thousands of dollars. But a normal, just generic green tree python is relatively affordable. And I think, again, it's a good thing on both levels, right? For the people that really want to get into the locality specific things, you have a really cool hobby there. But at the same time, the affordable way of actually owning some of these animals can still come through for more of the generic animals. Guys, don't forget that the volume one coloring book of the Reptarium After Hours, what the animals are doing after hours is out right now. It is $9.99 on the website, thereptarium.com. Link is in the description. Trust me, guys, this is this is a banger. I mean, I tell you, I absolutely love these things. 28 pages or something like that of really cool illustrations that you can color. Uh, again, I think you're gonna love this one for sure. Link in the description. So Jay's excited about something. He went running off, told me I can't move. Uh, something for stringing Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. What is it? Oh, Dwayne is the, the alligator. Dwayne the croc. Dwayne, yeah, I know Dwayne the croc rock Johnson. I know. First off, I don't know if you know or not, but this is Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne the croc. And I actually like literally love him. So I do want to know whatever we have to do because I want to keep him for forever. I don't want him to go back to Gatorade. So we can talk about that later. But I've been working with this guy because I'm a trainer. Yes, Dwayne. Uh oh. Stay calm. Calm. Play dead. Bang. What? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's a there you have it. There you have it. Wait, have what? It. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. That was real? Yeah. Dwayne, ready? Play dead. You're all right. Yo, what? <laughs> Holy moly. Look at Heinz, the crimson albino iguana, and how chunky that thing is getting. I mean, I tell you what, they, you know, it's interesting. Iguanas, when they're small, grow kind of slow, but they hit a certain size right a little bit below him, and they just explode. I mean, we saw that with Tabasco and Sriracha as well. He is at that size where it's crazy, but look at how chunky he is. He's definitely been eating double time. And of course, French is way up in the corner over there. She's not quite as chunky, but still doing really well. But I am so happy. And remember, he broke his tail off right here you can't even tell that it's broke at all it's completely grown back and there's no real seam in it or anything so i tell it i couldn't be more happy with this guy i mentioned it before and i am super excited that bella bananas t-shirts are coming back that's right a little throwback we're going to do a short run of these guys uh it's been a long time since they were out and it was our most popular drop so i know a lot of you guys have said where can i get a bella banana shirt well guess what you can get these guys now this one's actually been washed about 50 times and still is holding up pretty good but they're going to be brand new designs. We're going to have them in hoodies. We're going to have them in shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that. So I'm going to put a link in the description. As of today, you can buy your Bella Bananas throwback shirts. And again, they're only going to be available for the next probably three weeks or so. So if you want to get one, jump on it now. So I hope that you guys are excited. More merch stuff's coming out pretty soon. But for now, we want to do one throwback to the most popular drop that we've ever done. Take a look at this crazy tangerine gecko that we have here. I was just kind of going through geckos. Got to be careful not to get like obsessed with leopard geckos again because I've been trying to like downsize that colony but as I'm looking through holy moly there are some beautiful animals like this one here I mean that thing sets your eyes on fire and this is kind of the direction where I want our leopard gecko colony to go to be honest with you just improving making brighter animals more cool animals stuff like that so a little less producing quantity and just really producing quality if at all possible but this one is an absolute ripper so I had to tell you guys a funny story Ivy is obviously going into shed again and that's because she grows so much her growth is so big she seems to go into shed every four to six weeks something like that which is awesome but we were open last night at the reptarium a bunch of people didn't realize that these blue eyes and this crazy of course she's just laying in the water and stuff like that so a bunch of people came up and said did you know that your anaconda wasn't alive it's dead and i'm like what are you talking about but what it was is that people didn't realize when snakes go into shed that they get those blue eyes and it kind of almost looks like a preserved snake right so i was just like what is but literally like five people came up to me and said the same thing so maybe i have to put a sign up that says uh she's in shed now or something like that. Nevertheless, she should shed out probably in the next four or five days, and that means she's gonna grow even more. Loving this little monkey right here. This is, of course, just a little corn snake, but this is a snow tessera corn snake. Of course, the tessera is that pattern mutation that's incomplete dominant, and then you have the snow, which is albino and aneurythristic, and it's a feisty little dude. Look at this guy. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna bite me? 
I tell you what, I love when little corn snakes have such big attitudes, but man, I tell you what, colubrids are coming out, and it's going to be so much fun to see babies again. Egg time coming, guys. You know you love that song. It's about on its way. Egg time. I've got to show you something. You know the guy that did the reptarium mat? His name is Rick from floormats.com. He actually did the front mat. Guess what? He came last night and he really? brought us a present. Stay here. Come stay with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what the heck that was. So it's a good thing I didn't touch it because you'd yell at me again. I haven't seen this. I haven't looked at it. I've got to get some scissors. I got a knife. Got a knife. Perfect. Yep. I have no idea what this is, but he came by last night and surprised me. I hadn't met him. He's a really nice guy. And he said he brought us another gift. Don't show that. It's like the worst <laughs> knife safety ever. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hang on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Oh, oh, it's upside down. It looks like Legos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. This is dope. Weird. Yeah, it's all like he said you could even put this outside. Yeah. If you wanted to. But this might work good up at the front door for now. What do you think? How awesome is that, huh? Thank you. Thank you, Rip from floormats.com. This is absolutely incredible. Love it to death. Uh, so he said again, yeah, we could put it outside, we could put it inside, we could do whatever. That's a you look that bad right here, to be honest with you. I mean we have to turn around, but what do you think? Yes. Yeah, Scope, awesome. right? Yeah. I love it. Well, that was a good surprise. Hope that you guys enjoyed that. And it's crazy to think that there's geckos that are worth thousands of dollars. But again, you can get one a little bit cheaper if you want a generic one. Wanted to show that off because they are absolutely amazing animals. If you enjoyed this video, here's a playlist. If you want to hit one or two of those videos for me, it would be amazing. And I cannot thank you enough. Up here is actually my podcast channel. You can hear me ramble for hours if you so choose. On this side, we are getting close to 3 million. Hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on while you're at it. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody. And I promise I'll see you tomorrow.